start. Okay, looks like. Right. Uh, so he's out trying to keep the dust line. down. Yeah. W02 is uh, Brendan Bend, I should say. Yeah, Roger. And let her get up there a little bit, then we're out. What gotta do is come out a little bit. I gotta make sure these brakes work, so I'm come out, get out of the speed drain, get on somewhat level ground. Stop here, set the camera down for a second. You want to try to get 1200 RPMs before it moves. We're good. Just the steering wheel. Alright. We're on an angle, so that sucks. Tip the damn thing over. that angle so I'm yeah, going to just get in position here find him in my mirror reverse it out and straight back you got to get about five meters from him make sure your back wheel don't go off the fucking tip head you get up here and he'll listen for a horn there it is then my tray should be over say hi There's the clown. So you tip it over the back there. And you can watch it all fall off. All your weights back, lower it down, and we're out of here. Say bye to Dave. And we got a big ass hill to go down. We'll give you. We'll see if I can hold this baby all the way down. Catch the right gear. We'll do it from here because the water truck's up ahead. Anytime water gets put on the road, of course, there's a mud layer, and you'll run the risk of sliding. That's why she, that's why she puts it in um, little spurts every 15, 20 meters or so. That way, if you fail and you start to slide, hopefully your truck will catch on the dry shit and you'll gain, regain control. It's like driving a, a building, really. You don't feel it until it's too late, really. This yellow light on the dashboard, if you can see it, is an automatic retarder. It runs on hydraulics. I got the wrong gear here because she's going slow, so I'm going to slow down. Catch another gear. See if this gear will hold me back while I'm uh, waiting for her. Here's a nice view from the office. It's easy today because of all the chemtrails that went over this morning. 
about three hours later, all of it settled. So since we're up on the mountain, we're above it, and it looks like, looks like fog on an otherwise very clear day. Um, as you can see up here, it's clear as a bell. It's down there, it's not. Just because all of the fire chemicals that they're spraying us with have settled down. Oh well. You should look into it. You should type in on the Google, what in the world are they spraying? You'll see an interesting little documentary you can spin off and do your own research and make sure you make your own mind up. Or, you can just look up in the sky and ask yourself why. Start paying attention to those sort of things because, honestly, truthfully, it's happening. Whether or not you want to face it or not, it's just happening. And, uh, I think we got an obligation to our generations that come behind us to at least be aware and if we can, learn and understand what's happening with it and defend ourselves as best we can. Unless you're Joan of Arc, you could start some kind of revolution, but I'm not that person. Can I call her Alyssa? Here she goes, she's turned on. Here she goes, Yeah, mate, that uh, water cart just created on the two to five of the sun band in Magazine. Thanks, Anna. Here we come. This little flap that you're seeing in the camera is the, the flap that, that visually tells me that the deck is down. Sometimes the deck don't come down, you forget and you take off, so you can't be going. You'll flip your truck over, you top heavy. So here's a real good view, you're right on the ocean front and over this little cliff. There's a big digger down there in the pit. That's another digger. There's our digger there. There's Hector. There's the road and the cliff. Still going way downhill. See, we weren't way up there on that mountainside. Coming up to a channel change on the radio communication, so we'll go up to channel six. in these trucks, it's an operator error, so they got policies everywhere to fucking make us sign and put all the weight on us, so if something does happen, the supervisors have a way, and legally and all that, to say, oh, well, we signed for it, blah, 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 accountability, which is good in some respects, but, but real bad in others, so... adjust it instead of the foot pedal because it's too hard on the foot on the on the brakes on the foot so you use the hydraulic oil to do the stopping since i got it locked into second gear if you can see it won't go any higher than that then the automatic retarder will kick on and guide me the rest of the way in so you make sure all your brakes never overheat or nothing looks like we got the digger down there and a truck so i'll get in the position he's about loaded it's good timing you don't want any wait times down here. They want production, production, production. Like little worker bees in big black and yellow caterpillar engine beehive trucks. Bzzz, busy, busy bee. And all this dust, man. What a nightmare. I'll call up, tell this guy I'm coming around him. Coming around to DZ 541. Hi. 
He gave me the clearance. There he is. That's Matt Morgan. He's the guy we get our milk from. This guy's, this guy's cool. So I'm just sitting waiting. That's a small, but that's a small bulldozer. About the same height as a truck. The D8. And they have a D11 up here. It's huge. This is Russell. He's up there. He's from Nelson. He's talking to the dozer driver and they're talking about levels. It's underneath us. This used to be a old coal mine underground. So they have tunnels everywhere from 1901 or whatever it was. There's giant tunnels and holes and shit. So every time this digger opens up, every time the digger opens up a, a layer like this, they call it a pit. Um, voids open up. Big fucking holes. You drive your truck and swallow it down. So that's what these little green, if you can see, there's little blue lines. That's so you want to stay off those lines if you can help it. And um, I'm going to come around here and see if I can do this one-handed. I'm a master. So looks like he's going to dig there and I'll go in at a 90 degree angle. 90 degree angles and 45 degrees, so I'm gonna swoop around, watch them in my mirror. Oh, you're in front of you, man. Big ass cliff, more, more coal down there. I can see him in my mirror. I saw him over in the front. Yeah, yeah just he's filling up his bucket here. if you can see it, and then he's full, and then he'll hang it in the air, and that tells me the angle. See, he's gonna. Oh, there we go. I'll just line up on the outside of his my tray to the outside of his digger. Wait for his horn. Here's his horn. Then he's digging. There's the first one already. So he put 28 tons on in one scoop. So, and uh, targets 90 tons to 100 tons, so it's a lot of weight. And then I'll look down here. Put on this form here. The time I got loaded, which is 5:30. Oops. And then I'm away. Wait for him to. I'm watching, I'm watching this here. Just coming towards the problem in 2009. 30%. What this dozer does, is the digger's digging this down, 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 and then the dozer comes in and pushes it level uh, to whatever their RLs are, their grades and shit. And there's a machine in there, there's a GPS system in their machine that tells them what those are. And it just scrapes all the dirt up to the digger so he don't have to keep out of full thing. So he keeps it all clean and we don't, we don't lose out on the dirt and, and the trucks have a nice, safe place to um, roll in on. Shit like that. Turn this fan down. That was bigger than paperwork, mate, before I load, Jake. One day Liam and Sven and Odin will be driving these probably. I'll teach them. Make some pretty good money. New Zealand's the one in the Western world is one of the lowest paying ones. We make 70 grand a year or something, bring home 50. And um, but over in Australia and other big places, Canada and shit like that, they're pulling down 120 operate this shit. So that's pretty good pay for dropouts and truck drivers and shit. So I got my gear selected. Uh, probably one more scoop. I'm going to go ahead and drop her into gear. Not supposed to, but I'm doing it so we can be efficient and get out of here. this particular run and I go back up to the top and keep coming down. So wait, for, we'll do this a little bit and then we'll go up the pit. That's much slower going up of course. You can only get second, third gear <clears throat> instead of 50 Ks. You only do about 15 or 16 Ks. There's this horn. We're out of here. Big ass thing. Again, try to stay off those blue lines which you can see here trucks are waiting in the queue that's what we don't want Ugh. at this point most people don't want to know yes so you put on the music 
rock out. Gotta find all the right gears. Sorry, sir. So you can find properly. This is what we're after. All this is coal. It's a coal seam. So the big uh, earth moving trucks come in. We take out all the uh, overburden, they call it, soil, rock, and all that shit. Then you're left with this black stuff. And then they come in and thin that out, take it down to the processing, and they thin it out to high grade black gold. Sell that by the ton. We'll hear a new song. Going up the hill. Get the dust off my windscreen.
and we wish you could come back as much as you want maybe when you get older and need it we're here for you and you always have a place and you'll be well taken care of in those years when you need it if you so choose if you choose to and uh, tell Don I said he's good we appreciate it and uh, thanks for looking after you 